A twice yearly injection developed by U.S. drug maker Gilead has shown 100% protection in clinical trials. Researchers say no infections were reported in around 5,000 girls and young women in South Africa and Uganda. Health Department HIV AIDS and Prevention Strategies Acting Chief Director Petrus Koza joins us now for more on this. Mr. Koza, good to have you and thank you very much for coming on. Talk to us a little bit about this particular drug when the testing of this drug actually began and, and what were some of the uh, things that you found out about it. Yeah, good evening, Tabo, and uh, thanks for, for having me, and good evening to the uh, viewers as well. Thanks for the opportunity to uh, come and uh, share some information with the South Africans about the developments that we continue as a country to uh, in the world to really try and find a cure uh, or a solution for the HIV pandemic. Um, this is a, a follow-on. Uh, this uh, drug is called Lapanave. Uh, it's, a, it's a drug that is a, a follow-on to the, uh, it's a long-acting injectable. In fact, it's not, it's not an oral pill uh, like we, we take tablets. The, this one is a, it's an injectable uh, that, that has to be done through a, a, um, a, an injection. Uh, and it's a long-acting one. So, so you actually um, uh, take it uh, for, according to research, the study results suggest that uh, it's, it's one inje injection that has to be taken only twice every six months, so twice a year. So if you take it in January, probably then have to take it around uh, July and then uh, you're okay rather than having to currently deal with the modalities that we have where uh, the oral tablets for PrEP HIV prevention are actually taken daily. So, I mean, w w what we do know about HIV so far, I mean, uh, without getting too technical about it, is that it, it, it attacks the, the immune system. So how does this uh, twice a year injection assist in that regard? Yeah, um, it, yeah. without really getting technical, as you say, um, the, the, the scientists uh, and researchers uh, continue to, to inform us that uh, yeah, HIV, when it enters your, your bloodstream, um, uh, attacks the the, the 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 cells and then multiplies. So so it, it, we have what we then call the CD4 count uh, 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 in your bloodstream, um, which, which is uh, the cells that actually uh, protect the the the, 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 the uh, an individual's um, uh, body. So so what then the virus does is it attacks the, those cells, attaches to it, and then multiplies. So any ARV that you take actually helps in, in ensuring that it, it protects those uh, cells uh, and, uh, and, and, and therefore um, uh, it develops kind of a, um, um, a mechanisms or, 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 or uh, enzymes that really then uh, stops uh, the, you know, uh, um, the, the HIV from, from, from multiplying the bloodstream. So in this case, we're talking about an HIV-negative person so who then would be uh, inoculated, uh, then this uh, drug will then go into the bloodstream um, and then, uh, the, uh, then form part of uh, the, 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 the defense system. So when HIV then uh, one way or the other, if a person were to engage in unprotected sex and uh, with an HIV positive person who, who has a, a higher viral load, uh, and then the, the HIV then gets transmitted through that process. Uh, in, the, in, that, in that case, then this uh, uh, drug assists in the body to fight the HIV acquisition. As a result, it, it kills the, 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 the virus and a person will then would not be uh, in, infected with HIV. So it, uh, we, we think it's a game changer in terms of HIV prevention over and above what you've been having. And I, maybe I must hasten to, to indicate how that this is not uh, the the only it's not the first time that we have a drug i mean we had various kind of modalities that we've been implementing we had what we call uh, oral prep which were the pills that are currently in south africa were ro uh, rolling out in about just over 4000 uh, facilities public health facilities where people are taking daily pills uh, as prep that does the same thing um, then we had a, 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 a vaginal ring that was also implemented as one of the modali modalities. Uh, we, I'm sure in about four, five months ago, you've had South Africa also in announcing the the Capelle, uh, the the Capote Grave long acting. This one is taken is a long acting injectable for two months. Now this new one that has now been announced uh, uh, that we're talking about, it, it, the frequency is six months rather than two months. So we think because people 
uh, even the patients that are currently on treatment, when you ask them why they would engage and re-engage treatment, uh, most of the colleagues will cite, uh, patients will cite, uh, you know, a fatigue in terms of having to take drugs every day. So we think for HIV prevention, if we have um, an ARV like this that we can inject uh, only twice a year, that will really help in in, in adherence and, and giving us, um, a, you know, quite good uh, uh, results. Yeah, certainly. So it's a preventative uh, measure more than it is a treatment at this particular point, if you say, and that allows uh, uh, participants to have a choice to eliminate things like uh, fatigue, things like uh, stigma and so on. What are the other benefits in particular when compared to the, to the other options that you have mentioned of the oral pill and, 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 and the, the, the topical application? Yeah, well, I, I think for now, because I mean, this is a drug that is currently still under um, uh, investigation in terms of uh, 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 trials that are undergoing, including in South Africa and in Uganda and somewhere uh, in the world as well. The, the the current, I mean, we think, for instance, the reason why, what, what makes it more exciting is the fact that, uh, you know, people don't have, I mean, we know that even when, when uh, I, I would be um, having a bout of flu and I go to a doctor and they say, they give me an, a cost so antibiotics and say finish it within seven days or take it for seven days and finish the course but as soon as i feel better i actually in some cases most people will tell you that they got tired or they forgot to take their pills and all that so that has been you know the brand and you can imagine when you actually are doing prep because prep is prevention of hiv acquisition so where people will take drugs uh, and they are not sick, but they are taking those for, for HIV prevention purposes. So uh, that on, on its own has actually uh, been cited as, as the case where people will cycle in and out of, of the current PrEP, uh, oral PrEP. So so we think with the long injectable, the, the good thing about it is that it, it changes the game because you you only, instead of taking the uh, pill, pills daily, you know you, you know you just have to come. You come on a particular date and we give you a return date and you know that we, for six months you don't have to really worry about adherence and you know whether you've taken your medication or not so so we think it, it, it's a, it's going to help us in that way the the, the other be, uh, benefit i think added factor uh, to to the to to la, 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 la Ray is that the the current research is also still working on a treatment where because it's an arv i mean so so it probably could 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 work in combination with other ARVs in terms of treatment. So that's what scientists are still working on in terms of research. And we are wait, uh, you know, quite excitedly uh, that maybe something that as it comes, it will really, can you imagine uh, the 5.9 million uh, South Africans who are living with HIV who are currently taking medication uh, orally uh, on a daily basis. If this were, were to give us a breakthrough into um, the long acting uh, treatment as well, that will be really a, 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 a big plus for South Africa and the world. Now, I don't have to tell you, I'm sure you're well aware that HIV treatment is a, it's a big money spinner uh, for, the, for the pharmaceuticals. Uh, the drugs cost a, 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 a pretty penny. But uh, what, what does this particular um, game changer represent as far as making uh, those drugs cheaper, especially uh, for poorer countries? Yeah, uh, the, this is uh, actually, that's where the outcry is. In fact, the long-acting um, 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 modalities that we have, uh, Kabele and, and the LEN currently, the two-monthly and the six-monthly uh, uh, treatments uh, and prevention uh, 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 ejectables, those are currently what we as, as South Africa, as we have had, you probably have not had the minister or anybody in South Africa uh, announcing that uh, South Africa is currently rolling out like LEN or, or CAP in terms of uh, the, the, the market product because there's still issues around SAPRA, issues around the, 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 the NEMLEC, which are committees that actually um, goes through these products as soon as they, they are, uh, they've gone through the research uh, process and protocols and are written up and, and are then recommended to countries for implementation. Countries also are given the, the opportunity to actually do the, um, you know, issues around the uh, feasibility of implementation, uh, that looking into the uh, funding that's available, sustainability and all that. So this is not quite a cheap uh, but uh, Currently, uh, last week as we were in Germany, uh, one of the, um, um, at the AIDS conference, the, the uh, director for UN AIDS, um, uh, Banyima, Winnie Banyima, uh, uh, made a call to manufacturing companies and to deal that uh, specifically to say, we see what you've got in terms of what uh, this will do for the country, for the world. But then we uh, think that, I mean, it's a, it's a big issue around the, the, the price. I mean, it's currently estimated that 
uh, in, 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 in implementation, this will cost about uh, 400 uh, million uh, US dollars to treat 10 million uh, 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 HIV patients. So, so it's quite, it comes at a very high price. I mean, if you just do a quick back of envelope calculation for South Africa, uh, that if we were to um, just estimate it for the number that we want to use in South Africa, that uh, cost for one person per year it, 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 it equates to the uh, cost, the total cost for uh, oral prep uh, for for all for the same people. So so you know one person. Uh, I mean the the budget that's being uh, branded about it talks about uh, um, uh, actually being almost like tenfold of what we currently are paying on orals. Whereas with with Kabele also that's the issue. The which is the reason why um, the, the the price is also being currently uh, uh, being negotiated. And I think maybe the last point about to this, what drives this is that companies in the, on their own, like you said, they are in this for business, they are in this for money, whereas, I mean, it's, it's within health, so it's a health product that they, they actually produce, but they've got to also go into it with, uh, to, to make money. So whenever they have a breakthrough through their own researches and monies that they invest in investigations and science and all that, they will want to maximize first their profit before they go into what we call generics, because once they issue license for generics and more companies, Companies can manufacture a similar product with uh, the, then uh, with uh, different kind of a uh, 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 branding and all that. It becomes cheaper because they, then you've got a lot of manufacturers that are manufacturing this. So the current situation, which ha the challenge that we have, is that with land, it will it's currently uh, only going to be manufactured by one company, and as a result, it monopolizes, and we want to have that over two years uh, before it can actually bring the price down. So that's the advocacy that the world is calling, uh, was called upon last week to, to, to uh, uh, assist uh, in terms of uh, uh, negotiating and putting pressure on these manufacturers to bring the price down. Now, considering, of course, the latest statistics in, in, in the prevalence of um, condom use having dropped quite significantly uh, in, 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 in recent times, I think we've had that conversation with the department uh, not so long ago, um, what does this yeah. represent? I and mean, is this a, uh, uh, for lack of a better word, a, a new kind of vaccine, if you like, or is is, is a little bit more complex like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It is, and and, and as as we, I mean, our communication, um, I think, um, um, now um, of late, you probably are going to. I mean, we are in development with the companies that have now been um, um, uh, contracted uh, to 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 assist the Department of Health. Health with uh, with communication more like we used to have in the past. We had Komanani, we had the Pillar campaign, and there's now a, a follow-on campaign that is, is now coming through. Those are to help us because you see the challenge uh, Tabo is that we're dealing with issues with uh, South Africa where people have preferences and choices, and and just as you think that you've got a solution for one, then uh, the demands change. Um, for instance, as you know, we used to have what we called choice condoms. And, uh, and 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 the, the community, especially the target population, young um, uh, um, uh, people, then said this is not uh, appealing to us. The packaging is not good, and all that. Then we changed, and as you do remember, so, uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa in Parliament launching the Max condom, and then saying they are scented and all that. So that because that was on the base of. Of, of of the preferences or what was the appeal that we got from the users themselves to say the uptake will be much better if you make it much uh, uh, you know appeal uh, um, it, it should appeal to us so that we can be able to do that so so we do condoms then we go into prevention HIV prevention uh, mechanisms so we'll do firstly is behavior change communication that people should stop this risky behaviors I mean the issues around uh, having multiple concurrent sexual partners uh, issues around uh, not really just taking care of themselves even when they are uh, on treatment and all of that not adhering to treatment and then we then we got this um, new developments that came through like prep. So we had oral prep where ARVs can be taken by HIV negative uh, people for HIV, uh, you know, prevention purposes. But but maybe what I should uh, uh, hasten to 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 clarify is that these modalities for HIV um, are, are not necessarily going to be able to cap other things. Uh, for instance, even if LEN was to be cheaper or KBLA is cheaper, and then we implement and we inject people. 
that will not stop uh, other other diseases like uh, your STIs, syphilis. It will not stop unwanted pregnancies and all that. Whereas if you are to use a condom, which is the most cheaper kind of modality, that on its own then covers all this at the same time. But as we know, uh, we are told that we can't impose, but advise, put it in a basket of services and people should choose what they want. So so it's a, it's a difficult kind of a, a situation that, that we're dealing with on on, on daily basis. Mr. Koza, we appreciate your time. The Heart Department HIV and Prevention Strategies Acting Chief Director, the Petrus Koza.